With the thought of getting a victory on the road, the T-Wolves came into the arena tonight with a look of confidence. A view of beautiful Lake Michigan, stunning downtown Milwaukee, and the site of our broadcast today. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, B.A. Well, the NBA's play-in tournament is exciting. It's a way to keep teams in the mix, but it's had its share of critics. Luka Doncic said, quote, I don't understand it. You play all season to get into the playoffs. Then maybe you lose two in a row and you're out. I don't see the point. Guys? Yeah, Allie, team's definitely motivated to stay in the top six. Good stuff there. Thank you. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Jalen Noel. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. Then there's Edwards. And it's Prince in at the four-man position. And for Milwaukee, the foundation of this team. Middleton. And every year... We'll go for a different look here. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Moore comes in for Middleton. Connaughton, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Each year we get to see Giannis come back from the summer and what he's done to up his game. Get a little bit stronger in the weight room, be a little bit better ball handler, play a little bit more aggressively. The guy's competing to be one of the best players in the business. Beasley misses. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. On the wing, Connaughton. He's guarded by Beasley. Here's more. The shot off that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. That game could have been a lot closer than it was, but they were just too sharp down the stretch. Yeah, that really was the difference. When it came down to crunch time, there was just no let-up. They made sure to finish strong and not allow any chance for the opponent to come back. Outside Russell. Pass to Beasley. Clock at six. Here's Towns. He makes it from the left block. Towns has got 11 points. Milwaukee has gone 2 of 4 from distance to begin this one. Here's Moore. He's guarded by Beasley. On to Kumpo. The pass to MP. And MP throws it down. Giannis, if you talk about maturity, the next thing you're going to see is him playing with great patience. Let the play unfold and then take what the defense gives you. They grab their own miss. Beasley, the pass to Towns. No good on the three. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside, Hill. Back to Connaughton. Outside, Hill. Over Beasley. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. Good use of recognizing space and getting to the mid-range from George Hill. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Out to the right wing. Beverly outside. With the seven-footer. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. Kumpo, the pass to Hill. Back to Honor to Kumpo. Takes a 13-footer. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. The Bucks on top, leading by five. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return.
And you ask Giannis his recipe for success, it's pretty simple. Yes, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Get off social media. That's it. Just spend time with your family, spend time with your teammate, and just come here and do your job. I think uh, you don't second against yourself. You, know, you just go out there and play hard and uh, give everything to the team without thinking about nothing else. He does keep a tight knit circle, Grant. Yes, I love it. No big entourage, just family, team, and the work. And that's what he's all about. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, Guys? Yeah, showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage. They controlled the boards in the first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. On the court for Minnesota. Filling out the wings, Beasley and Edwards. Torian Prince is out there with Nas Reed. And it's Beverly in at the point. Milwaukee foul. That's his Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Holiday comes in for Connaughton. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Noel's checked in. for the Bucks, and a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for Reed. Vanderbilt comes in for Prince. Beasley's checked in for Noel, and D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Beverly. Well, Brent, you could light it up from three-point range. You ever think about how well-suited you would be to the modern game? There are nights, B.A. There are long nights where I can't sleep dreaming about playing in some of these systems. Hill the pass to MP. Some solid defense from Russell. And that might be why he's not a top option. I mean, they can't trust him even that close. From eight feet away, here's Towns. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. Aggressive play by Towns on the glass. Recapturing possessions so we could take it right back up. Milwaukee has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. On to Kumpo inside. Working on Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt with the block. They retain possession. 52 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Towns. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his third assist of the night. Well, he's a gifted passer. This is one of his natural abilities, and the instincts just showing off from Russell there. Hill drives in. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his second person. That one on Russell. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. George Hill is a gear-shifting, versatile guard and has some size and a good perimeter defender with that length. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. And we've got 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Russell. That one off to back iron and out. Milwaukee has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Pass to Connaughton. MP against Edwards. It's tipped. It's Beasley on the wing. Shoots over Hill. No good on the buzzer beater. A big-time effort for Chris Middleton, providing a lot of energy for Milwaukee. Helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter. Three for the game. Back to the game after this break. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game.
Timberwolves group getting ready for the Bucks. Ibaka, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Moore comes in for Middleton. Connaughton, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Carter in for Holiday. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Beverly comes in for Russell. And that one falls for Carter. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Serge Ibaka is out there with MP. Then there's Javon Carter. Then there's Brooke Lopez. And it's Connaughton in at the two. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Now he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, the Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales agreement was stipulation that the teams remain in Minnesota, something that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Well, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. And you look at Serge Ibaka's defense. I mean, still solid overall. Not the rear protector, though, that he once was. Here's Moore. Soft touch off the glass. Moore's got six. And they're shooting with much more confidence here in the second half. The field goal percentage is now over 50%. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Three. Good. And you know Grant with Ibaka on defense. For a while, he was one of the best shot blockers in the league. I mean, he still changes shots, just doesn't block them. He's also more disciplined on leaving his feet. I and mean, he can still turn a few shots away every so often. Pass to Connaughton. The three. Knocks down the triple. Connaughton's got himself on the board with a three there. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. On the attack, Carter. Here's Lopez. Oh, and Towns with the block. I mean, if height wasn't enough, Towns also has serious athleticism. There's just no easy shots when he's around. Pass to Reed. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Towns double team. Here's Prince. Goes back up. And another basket Torian for Prince. Minnesota. Well, when he's spotted up like that, Torian Prince, those percentages go up. Very comfortable on that one. Here's Connaughton. MP with it. And the miss. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Bucks ahead, leading by 17. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. offers up is exceptional a capable defender a good scorer an effective shooter 
Those are the kind of switchblade players the coaches love. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. That chance at a three point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. Shooting for Minnesota. Jared. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And here's Carter. Pass to Nora. Ball stolen. So this one belongs to the Bucks. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you later. How you doing, hey, John? Hey, all right. Thanks for sitting down with me, MP. Hey, look, when Miss Hanover sets something up, you show up and you show up on time, okay? <laughs> She's going to love to hear you say that, I'm telling you. Yeah. So now that you've had a chance to get settled, uh, what's it like adjusting in the NBA? You know, it's, it's been a lot. I feel like I'm starting to get it. And, of course, I have to learn new systems. You know, the NBA offenses and defenses, they're completely different. You know, I'm getting to know my teammates, but we're still growing and get more comfortable with each other. It's, it's going good. Yeah, it makes sense. And how are things going with Coach? Oh, Coach and I, we cool. You know, he's had a lot of feedback that I can try to incorporate into my game so I can help this team win, but he's been real insightful for sure. You got time for any more? Man, I actually got to run, John, but thanks for talking to me. Appreciate uh, it. You know what? I'm here whenever, MP. Just let me know. Yeah. Take care, John. All right, you too, buddy.